accompanying me today. Uh, as you can see, I'm surrounded by hawthorn and there are some leaves, golden brown leaves dying and falling, just as we saw yesterday being carried by the river, but this time they're just falling on the floor. But in the meantime, the most amazing, the juiciest, the ripest hawthorns that you can get. If you do live in a place where there is hawthorn, make sure you get some. If you do eat them, make sure that you spit out the pip in the middle because as much as hawthorn is full of antioxidants and vitamin C and packed with all sorts of medicine, the seed inside is arsenic, so make sure that you spit it out. If you do um, use it in a tea, dry it out first and then you can um, use it in a tea. However, what it reminded me of is the fact that yes, I were admiring the golden leaves, the dead ones being carried by the river as if continuing their journey elsewhere. Here we've got them, these beautiful hawthorns at their best. We live in duality where there is life and death constantly. Yesterday a friend of mine was telling me about the east and what destruction is being yielded in the east, in the east, sorry. Not so much that we are listening about it on the media, social media or mainstream media or not. It's just not being told, but she's got family out there. And she was telling me of the atrocities, people innocently dying, the anguish, the pain, the suffering. And I have to say that I was feeling the whole of humanity's pain and really, really crying. I stayed with that. I allowed my body to release all that pain, all that grief, all that sadness. And then this morning I sat again